what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so apparently wwe has just let go of some more wrestlers um this happened as of today june 2nd when i'm filming this um this is a surprise um, right now, I'm checking out GameRant.com. WWE releases Aleister Black, Braun Strowman, Lana, and other superstars. I'm not mistaken, like maybe in April, I could be wrong, let me know, but I believe in April, they released another group of superstars, and one of one noticeably was um, Samoa Joe. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was literally not that long ago, just a few months back. So, let's see what's going on here, if there's any potential updates. In a shocking move, WWE releases some more superstars, including regularly featured talent, talent like Aleister Black, Braun Strowman, and Lana. Didn't Aleister Black just come back to SmackDown like maybe a week ago? Like he made his he made his return. I, I could have sworn I've seen clips on YouTube about that. Shortly after WrestleMania, every year WWE does its annual spring cleansing where it releases various superstars from the roster. The last batch of WWE releases, uh, releases happened just this past April when the company released high profile superstars like Samoa Joe, Mickey James, and others. Alright, so it was in April. Not even two months later, WWE has released another batch of superstars and it includes some rather shocking wrestlers. WWE has released Aleister Black, Braun Strowman, Lana, uh, Murphy, Ruby Riot, and Santana Garnett. Out of these releases, the most surprising have to be Aleister Black and Braun Strowman, as the two of them have been heavily featured on WWE programming. In fact, Aleister Black just recently debuted on SmackDown, starting a few with one of the show's top babyfaces, Big E. Um, Braun uh, Strowman, meanwhile, had a high-profile pro feud with Shane McMahon, which culminated in a steel cage match at WrestleMania. This is actually a surprise. <clears throat> I did not think they would let go of Braun Strowman. Like that, to me, even though me personally, Braun Strowman hype has definitely died down from the days of him going against Brock Lesnar originally. But, you know, they still, you know, had a lot of use for him. They were still were using him in some potential high profile matches. He's been in some main event matches this past year. Um, especially he just recently not i wouldn't say recently but he had the universal championship you know he had won the universal championship i want to say it was at wrestlemania last year so it, it's it's one of those things where they they just let him go and then alistair black he just returns back to wwe television just to be let go like that's insane as usual wwe has not given any specific reason reasoning as to why it's it's released these superstars however it doesn't seem as though these releases came from people requesting their release from the company alistair black has tweeted that his release came out out of complete left field which makes sense as wwe just started a feud between him and biggie on smackdown as previously mentioned w and this is from wwe twitter wwe has come to terms on the release of Braun Strowman, Aleister Black, Lana Murphy, Ruby Ryan, and Santana Garrett. WWE wishes them the best in all their future endeavors. And then this is from Aleister Black's Twitter. I'm gathering my thoughts as this was a complete left field for me as obviously we just started the Dark Father character, but this was, but this was it. Thank you so much, WWE Universe, for allowing me to create and give you small bits of myself. That sucks. And Aleister Black was so over in NXT, and they really dropped the ball with him on the main roster. That's 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 cold, bro. Like that that really is cold. One has to wonder what will be the next, uh, what will be next for these newly newly released. WWE superstars. Aleister Black had a successful career in the indie circuit as Tommy N before joining WWE, and it stands to reason that he would be a hot free agent considering his track record of delivering quality matches. Braun Strowman, meanwhile, is more of a product of WWE and doesn't have indie wrestling experience, so it's unclear if he will stay in the professional wrestling business or seek other employment. That's rough, bro. That's rough. Lana, meanwhile, may uh, be a perfect fit for WWE's rival promotion, AEW, 
Lana's real life husband, Miro, is currently TNT champion in AEW, having defeated Darby Allin for the title a few weeks ago on an episode of AEW Dynamite. Lana and Miro were popularly popular couple in WWE back when Miro was known as Rusev. And so it would be it would make sense to pair them together again in AEW. I think that would be a nice little move. If Lana went to AEW, I think that would be a nice and a much better move. Um, that's if she wants to go. I think that would be a nice move for her to be with her uh, her husband. It's also unclear what these latest WWE releases mean for the upcoming WWE 2K22 video game. It's possible that these superstars will still appear in the game since the roster is usually finalized by now, but it is also possible they will be cut before release. WWE fans will just have to stay tuned to find out more. Yeah, man. Um, That sucks. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wasn't a big fan of Braun Strowman and where they was taking him, but I didn't want the guy to lose his job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I just really wish they probably would have booked him better. They should have booked him better. And Aleister Black, he definitely didn't have the opportunity he should have had on the main roster like he got in NXT. And it's just another unfortunate sign that you could be over in NXT, but as soon as you get to the main roster, they don't know what to do with you. So you're pretty much screwed. It's you're you're pretty much like just kind of stuck in limbo i guess you can say like unless vince mcmahon has something to do for you that's not cringy and lame you're pretty much screwed it's nothing you can do you could be a triple h guy triple h to try to help but nine times out of ten it's nothing you can do so hey man this this is very unfortunate hopefully these guys and, and women are able to find employment in the wrestling field other you know in other places maybe AEW does pick these people up if so it, it helps out their roster maybe they utilize them better I hope so man but uh it's just one of those type of things where it's like damn bro WWE they just literally letting go of people left and right so appreciate everyone that was sending me in this video well not the video but sending me like the articles and you know their shock and surprise and wanted me to talk about it so i definitely had to make sure i recorded this video for you guys but i appreciate all the love and support man and comment down below let me know if you guys are kind of disappointed by this re these re these recent releases and i'm talking about even the ones from from uh april let me know i want to get your thoughts and opinions on on this situation do you guys feel like wwe really is dropping the ball with releasing all these uh talented individuals but i would love your thoughts and opinion appreciate all love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking in with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace